presentation, we're actually going to explain exactly what retargeting is and how it works. Um, but real quick, I'll just share who I am. I, I hate it when people carry on too long with these parts. So I'll just tell you uh, a little bit about me. My name's Sean Vossler. I've worked with a lot of online entrepreneurs over the last, uh, uh, it seemed, in internet years, it seems forever, but it's really about the last five years or so. Uh, but my first uh, real business was raising pheasants, which is always fun, but that's where I learned a lot of business stuff, and, and I honestly learned what I didn't want to do for a living. Uh, so I, I spent a lot more time on the computer after that and uh, started working for a web design firm, which uh, was not fun either, even though it was a lot cleaner and smelled a lot better. And then uh, started my own web company, which was fun, but uh, after working 70 hours a week, um, I got a little old as well. Read the four-hour work week, which actually just kind of made things worse because uh, you can't really just work four hours a week is what I learned from that. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, so I started uh, reaching out to um, industry leaders in, in internet marketing, and uh, you might recognize Lewis House here. He was my first uh, real um, break into internet marketing, started building out all their stuff, had a lot of fun with that. And then recently, I've moved into working with a lot of other marketers, building their funnels, setting their advertising up, and uh, currently working with a couple crazy guys named Andy Jenkins and Mike Same. So I'm setting up all their web properties, doing a lot of the ad stuff, and uh, it's really where I got into uh, the concept of retargeting and, uh, and using it in advertising. So we're going to discuss today some some really cool tools, uh, the first one being retargeting itself and how you can use it in your business. So by the end of this presentation, I want you to be able to walk away and instantly be able to start using this in any type of business that you have, even if you're selling other people's products and even if you're selling dollar you know, Kindle books. You know, it doesn't matter uh, really as long as it's, this is an online tool, as long as you're um, marketing something online, doesn't matter if it's a dollar or a hundred thousand dollars. This can uh, help your business. So, and also, we're going to learn uh, how you can retarget almost anything on the web, and how that actually can add a ton of value value uh, to your bottom line. Uh, even if you haven't been terribly successful with uh, online ads before, this will um, this will give you something that not a lot of people are using just yet. So, it's not necessarily saturated the the market. Um, but those who are using it effectively are having a really, really good time with it. So back to retargeting. What is it? Why should you care? Let's dive into what it actually is. Um, but first, let's cover a few simple facts about online marketing and uh, web marketing in general. So if you have a really decent website or a really decent product, you're still losing about 98% of people who view your website. So if you have a 2% sales rate, which is not terrible, three is about average, um, well, maybe a little above average, two is average. If you're up in six and seven, you're doing really good, but you're still losing more than 90% of the people who visit your page. Uh, so that's a simple fact to keep in mind. So 90, think of the 90% of people. So for every 100 people that go to your site, 90, 90 of them or so, all the way up to 100 of them <laughs> might not buy at that time. And also, number two, the average customer is, is going to interact with your page multiple times before making a buying decision. So you may email them once, they may see an ad once, they may get emailed from someone else, and finally, they will make a dis buying decision. So the more times you can get in front of somebody, the frequency at which you can get your message in front of somebody is going to increase your ability to sell them something. So if they see your Kindle book once, you have a much lower chance of selling your book than if they see it seven times. Seven is like the, the golden number of getting your message in front of somebody. They're either uh, going to buy or they're going to uh, be, be a non-buyer in the sense that they, they never would have bought in the first place. So number three, it either costs money or time to get people to your website. And this is one of the biggest challenges, right? Getting traffic, um, either going to be time, using time with SEO, link building and stuff, or paying somebody to do that, or PR, trying to do guest posts, which takes time, or you're paying for advertising, which recently, paying for advertising has come down in price a lot, and it's a great place to start. You can turn $100 into a lot of traffic anymore using Facebook. And real quick, I'm going to just jump out and make sure 
sure there's no big glaring problems with questions or anything. Um, but everything looks good. All looks, uh, okay, cool. We're we're good. And uh, uh, that is awesome. Just want to make sure. Okay. So we're either going to buy traffic or we're going to spend time generating it. And if you're buying traffic and you're only getting 3% conversion rates, then 90% of your visitors are taking no action, even though they showed interest, to, interest enough to click your ad. So think about that for a second. If you're paying for Facebook ads, right, and somebody clicks on the ad and they come to your website, that is a very mo that's a motivated person because honestly, who clicks on ads anymore unless they're really relevant, right? When's the last time you clicked on the ad? It was probably because it was something that spoke to you. Did you necessarily always, do you always buy something that you see on an ad? No. So there is a good chance, um, even with a good ad and a good website, that they got distracted, they opened a new tab to change the music, they closed your page, right? So that's where a good majority of your visitors who could be buyers are going. And number five here, last simple fact, um, if you get those other 97% of visitors back to your website, uh, you either, one, have to attract, to get them back, you either have to track them back with a, a, uh, the same ad or a different offer, or two, you display a new ad with a different message to a new page based on the fact that you know they've seen the original offer. So I'll say that one more time because it's kind of a convoluted statement here, but uh, you can display a new ad with a different message to a new page based on the fact that you know they've seen the original offer. So what that means is basically with retargeting, because we're still in the, the scope of retargeting here, you can, you, you can send them to a different page or the same page uh, with a different message, uh, but you know for a fact that they've seen your website. And that knowledge is a lot of power, and I'll show you here what that means uh, and how that can be really powerful. So retargeting is marketing to people who know who you know have seen your site. So that's uh, gives you the ability to make some really powerful assumptions. You know they probably are interested in what you're selling, right? So they've clicked on the ad. No one really clicks on ads that they're not interested in, right? So you have a good chance of understanding that they are interested in your site. And even with SEO, right? So someone comes to your site through SEO or your ebook or or whatever. Um, or your Kindle book, you know that something brought them there. They didn't just randomly type in your URL, right? Um, so there's a decent chance that they didn't take action because of a few things, either pricing, message, or they got distracted. Pricing, you can't necessarily control too much. If you're selling a $5 ebook, uh, adding, at, offering them a 50% uh, discount, probably isn't going to make or break the bank for them as to whether they're going to buy. So you may not want to change the price. The message, you can adjust this, and, and we'll talk about that a little bit more of how to send them to a different message um, that may speak mo uh, more to their objections. So, so maybe they didn't buy because they didn't think your book or your product solved uh, XYZ problem, when maybe it actually did, right? So you could uh, re-present uh, your message to them, or they may have simply gotten distracted. So we talked about that a little bit, but maybe the, the baby's crying or the browser crashed or, you know, it's a, there's a million things that can happen on a page uh, where they lose uh, the, their ability to focus on your message. Now that's where this little ad you'll see, um, I have a little screenshot here. It says, thanks for visiting tprofit.com. So this is one of my other products that I've run a lot of uh, retargeting traffic too, but since I know that they've been to the site, I can send them a message on Facebook with this ad that's thanking them for visiting, right? So I know they visited, which is very powerful because you can change the message. So I say, thanks for visiting. I just want to remind you that the grant, our grand opening closes dot, dot, dot. It's a little bit of curiosity in that ad, so I'll show you these ads in a little more detail but you can see how powerful it could be to change the message of an ad now that you know somebody's been to your website. So let's uh, talk a little bit about what this actually is. So retargeting on Facebook, as we've discussed here, is actually the process of displaying a new ad to somebody that's visited a page. So whether that page is your Kindle book 
or uh, your website, like uh, your your business website or a specific page on your website, you can what's called a custom audience. You can create a custom audience based on what you know somebody has seen. So let me just read here because I think Facebook puts it really nicely. This is what comes up when you start creating a custom audience. It says, remarketing is a tactic for identifying people who took specific actions on your website. This is one of the most successful forms of finding users who have ex expressed interests in your business. So what they do is they give you what's called a remarketing pixel that tracks behaviors of people on your website. Isn't that cool? So it saves that information and you can use it to, to show ads. And it's it just let your imagina imagination go for a minute. It's, pretend you had a product, right, that um, you had a couple upsells for. So your, your main product is $20, your upsell is $40. You could actually create a retargeted pixel on each one of those pages and tell Facebook to show an ad to people who bought your product but didn't buy the upsell or that bought both products and you wanted to thank them for buying and send them a custom message to try to uh, get them excited about using your product. There's, there's a lot you can do with this uh, more than just uh, putting an ad in front of people. Um, but let's, let's put this into kind of a visual form here. And because I know it's, it's funny, I, I'm listening to this presentation and I could see how retargeting can still be a little uh, confusing because it is it is pretty darn new concept. In fact, I was when I was first introduced to this, I was kind of like, say that again. Like, how does it work? So I'm actually showing an ad to somebody that you know. What does that actually mean? So here's a little step by step uh, uh, diagram here. So first step, someone visits your website. That could be through SEO or another ad, right? Second step, they leave your website. Everybody leaves your website at some point. So you, they're either going to buy or they're not. And three, where do most people go? I would, I would venture to say 99% of your target audience is probably on Facebook, especially in the United States. And even more so if it's not teenagers who don't necessarily buy anything in online anyways, right? <laughs> um, but then at some point in the future, it could be 10 days later, they end up on Facebook. Maybe it's one day later eventually some they're going to end up at Facebook and that's where your retargeting ad gets displayed so then this little black arrow here you can bring them back to your website or you can send them to another destination so this is where you can be creative you can change an offer um, you could offer a discount or offer them something new so maybe you didn't like this product maybe you'll love this product but you know they're interested in the subject matter because they got to your website somehow all right, so there's a few provi um, providers that let you re do retargeting ads, right? And the, the one that I am extremely interested in and have had the most success with is Facebook itself. So if I'm actually going to ask here real quick is uh, put in the, the question or the chat box if you have used uh, Facebook ads or not. If you, if you have, put yes. If you haven't, put no. And if you have no idea what Facebook ads is, put in there, I just don't even know. <laughs> and it's okay if you don't know about Facebook ads. So not yet says held us. And we got a lot of no's, not yet. We got some yeses. Uh, yes, but have seen uh, the retargeting also. Cool, cool. Nope, nothing. I know, but hate them, says Lee. Uh, I have had a love-hate relationship with Facebook ads at times. So I feel your pain there. And Linda says, I don't even know. So for Linda, so when you're on Facebook and those, those ads in the right, or if you're going through a news feed and you see a, 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 an item that you're like, I never liked that page and it says sponsored, that's what Facebook ads are. Um, so we'll, we'll take a look at those too on Facebook itself. So I got a lot of no's, but I got a good amount of yeses here. Um, so we will definitely, uh, dive into what those are specifically, but uh, retargeting itself is a type of Facebook ad. So there's two types of Facebook ads. And just to go back, back up a few steps, make sure we got the basics covered here. Um, the, the Facebook ads are either uh, something that you're targeting an audience based on um, you know, other pages or likes 
or there's retargeting audiences. Uh, those are the two basic type of Facebook ads. There's a few more complex ones where you could up, it, up mail email lists or, scrap, or scrape user IDs. Um, we're just going to talk more about the specific kind here, retargeting. So think of it as a side type, another type of Facebook ad. And the reason it gets me excited is because honestly, I have had hit and miss success with uh, normal Facebook ads, but I have yet to do a retargeting ad campaign that hasn't been profitable uh, for me. So um, the simplest one to use here is Facebook. And then there's providers, third party providers like AdRoll um, and a couple, you know, perfectaudience.com. And these uh, are just like Facebook, but they're a little more complex. So getting started with them actually takes a little more time. And if you want to just get up and running, using Facebook's built-in retargeting tools is the easiest way to do it. So here's a good example of a non-retargeting ad and a retargeted ad. And real quick, before I dive this, I want to make sure that it's pretty clear what retargeting ads are. Type in here real quick um, what you, like, is it clear to you what a retargeting ad is? In, in general, it doesn't necessarily have to be specific of uh, Facebook, but you get the idea that basically these ads are only showing, right, if, um, if someone's been to a specific website. So yeah, we got a lot of yeses, it's clear, okay. Because if you can get that concept down, the rest of this is pretty much a breeze. That's the first, <laughs> the first difficult uh, part is getting, um, getting the understanding of what retargeting really is. So it looks like we got that covered, which is good. All right, so I will jump back in. So you can see here some of the stats on a couple different uh, campaigns. So the first one here is um, a campaign I did for Optimized Press, and you can see uh, I spent $87, um, got 46 page likes. It wasn't an, an epic campaign. It was, it was worth a try, but I, I didn't really see much results. And um, it helped build a few leads, but you can see here the big number which is called frequency, was only 1.3. Which means, what frequency means, is it's the amount of times your ad is displayed to somebody. So if you go to Facebook and you feel like an ad's following you around, like you've seen the same ad 20 times, it's probably because it's a retargeting ad. Because you can see the frequency to my normal ad is only 1.3. Now at the bottom here, my retargeted ad, 34 times frequency. That's insane. That means that um, the average person who was in my audience, very specific audience, people who went to my website, saw an ad 34 times. That's insane. Like I've, I've never seen that in any other type of ad. And the 710 clicks here, I mean, come on, that's, I, that's insane. And 97 cent clicks are pretty darn good. I mean, you can get even better. Um, I was not too concerned because I, I knew I was making sales from this. And the, the shot down here, these 100 sales, a good majority of them are due to the retargeted ad because like I said before, the more somebody sees your message, the more likely they are to buy. And the fact that they're seeing it 34 times on average, that means they're seeing it a lot. That is just an insane amount of times to, that's more than, I mean, if you are familiar with Coca-Cola, who isn't here, right? How many times do you see a Coca-Cola ad in a month? I bet you it's about the same. I bet you it's about 34 times. And their ad budget's billions of dollars. So I bet you see a billboard and you, you open a magazine, you see it. You know, you go to a movie theater, you see it. You watch American Idol, you see it. But this gives you that same ability, right? So, and guess what? This is all free. Like retargeting, you could start today. And it's just awesome how powerful it is, all right? So I'm going to show you how to set up a retargeting campaign step by step. And it's honestly not that difficult. And real quick, I'm going to do one more little poll, and this is just in the chat. How many of you have your own website um, that you have control over? And if you do, that's awesome. And if you don't, that's okay too. So I've gotten a lot of yeses, got a lot of yes. I have, awesome, that is really cool. We have a, Brian, you have a smart audience. That's, I don't wanna say that's rare, but sometimes, you know, sometimes I get a lot of, uh, what's, 
what's a website? No. <laughs> so got tons of yeses. So that is so fantastic, especially if it's WordPress. I'm pretty partial, but WordPress is great. Um, so you can do this with your current website, and I'm also going to show you how to use your website to retarget other people's products, which is really freaking cool, and I've just started doing it. I'm so excited about it. So let's go through real quick how to set up a retargeting campaign. So first step, you have to decide is it going to be to your own website or is it going to be for an affiliate product? Or is it going to be for like an Amazon site that you don't have control over, an ebook? What what are you going to be promoting? So that's probably really easy for you to know right now. Um, it could be a JVZoo product, it could be really anything that has an affiliate program. Um, obviously, if you have your own website, that's even better with your own products. So off we go to step two. So you need to decide on your flow. Are you sending them back to the same offer or to a new offer? So same offer is fine, honestly. I'm not going to lie. This thank you for visiting. I send them back to the same offer because we have a grand opening uh, pri uh, special price, right? So the same offer, as long as there's some kind of scarcity or something, uh, if you're giving them a compelling reason to buy now, that's great. But you could also send them to another thing. Like, let's say you had an email sequence written up, and you know somebody saw your Kindle book about gorillas and how to train gorillas. That's a terrible example. How to train dogs. We'll go with that one. That's always easy. So you send, you send traffic to a special link that has a retargeting pixel on it. And you know they went to the page, but maybe they didn't buy, right? So that... Uh, that user, that audience that you have now in Facebook, you could present an ad to them to an opt-in page that says, learn 10 ways to train your gorilla better and get them as a email. So that's even, that's even an option too. You could send them to an opt-in of like lead pages, um, but really you gotta decide what you wanna do if it's for a sale and you wanna get that sale and you just need that sale, send them back to the sales page. You're going to have more success, especially if you let them know that they need to buy. <laughs> Soon. So step three, if you haven't used Facebook ads, go ahead and set up your account. It's free. It's easy. They have great, great training actually in Facebook itself on how to do advertising on Facebook. Um, there are so many trainings out there. It's almost overkill for me to go in uh, super in depth on how to do Facebook ads itself um, without the retargeting. Um, but, but you can go in there, set up an account. You're good to go. Um, and that includes the retargeting as well. And then um, before I jump into the next slide, the next step, uh, a lot of times, in special, what I do is I'll send traffic to a page through a normal Facebook ad just to generate traffic. And I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not the best at it. I don't get five cent, two cent clicks, point zero zero two cent clicks. I honestly, as long as I can get the ROI, I know, which, which I know I can, I'm okay with spending a dollar, two dollars on a click, as long as I can measure it. And with Facebook ads, they give you conversion tracking, all that good stuff, and you know you're going to do, um, you, you know you're going to be able to track that, and that's the biggest thing. If your sales page isn't converting, it may be because your sales page isn't that good, and that's a whole other, maybe we'll do another call sometime on what really converts. Um, honestly, my biggest suggestion, if you have a website where you're selling something and it's not converting, Go emulate somebody's site that you know is converting. Go on JVZoo, look at the hottest selling products, emulate their page, don't copy it, emulate, and that's the first step if you have a page that's not converting well. All right, so step four, we're in Facebook ads now. We need to set up what's called a custom audience. Now, you don't need to do this in Power Editor, which Power Editor, for those who aren't familiar, is like a really, in, in, like insanely awesome, like uh, nerdy level uh, usage of Facebook ads, you can use their basic interface and still do this. So one, you click audiences. Two, you click create audiences, big green button on the top right, can't miss it. And then, sorry, I didn't drink. Uh, the next step is, uh, I should have numbered these better. <laughs> but you wanna click, this little pop-up will come up and it says create custom audience from your website. So you'll see uh, the first red arrow on the left here. You want to click that. And Brian, just so you know, and everybody on the call, I'm going to I'm going to make sure that you have access to these slides 
um, and and we'll see if there's a replay. Hope you know if there is, you can go through these. Um, but I'm, I want to get through this so we can get to some more of the meat. But basically, just follow the steps, right? So you want to create a custom audience for your website. You click that. You want to name it based on uh, whether it's your website or you know maybe it's a Kindle book. But you want to name your website here. Give it a name, uh, sales page, as an example. You want to view this remarketing pixel, and if it's if you're already lost here. Don't worry, I will make sure that um, we have this slides to you. It'll help uh, tremendously. But basically what this remarketing pixel is, especially if you have a website, you understand that you can add things to it. Um, it gives you a little tool here, this little bit of code that you can copy and add to your website. So basically once you click that, it'll show this bit of code, copy that to your website. It gives you the you know, idea or the des description of how to do it. And then here, you can actually do a couple of cool things, which I'll go out to the web and show you what you can do here. But the first rule is basically if they contain, visited your website, then you want this audience to be, in, you want this audience to see a certain ad, all right? And then you can do that up to an eight, 180 days. So for 180 days, you could market to that person who's seen your website. So let me, uh, let's just keep moving on here. We'll get through these steps real quick and then we'll do you know, make sure we have the Q&A covered. Um, but that's all you gotta do, bam, your, <laughs> your new audience is ready. And you can start running Facebook ads to people who have visited your website. But you gotta get that audience created first. You can see here I have one for my main website, sean.co. Anybody who visits that, now I can target on Facebook. Assuming they have a Facebook. That should kinda go without saying, but if they don't have Facebook, then, uh, you know, it's it's not going to work but you're not you know you're not going to miss out on too many people cuz who honestly doesn't use facebook right um so you can even tell them that they're being retargeted to this actually worked really effectively for one of my ads um so i said look how powerful retargeting can be click here to take another look at retarget engine and we'll talk a little bit more about that at the end but uh, on the left here you'll see this little ad um it shows up in the news feed as soon as they come back to the website right so that's another cool thing. So if they go straight from your website to Facebook, there's a really good chance your ad could already be displayed in their newsfeed, right? And then this is the T-Profit one on the right here um, that was, has been super effective, still running it. And unfortunately, if you've gone to tprofit.com during this presentation, you are going to be retargeted for the next couple days because <laughs> it's always running. I just keep it going. It's great. All right, so let's do a few tips here because after you set up that pixel, you have to set up the ad. So don't freak out if your ad isn't working well. Um, try playing with the image. You know, honestly, a lot of people give up way too soon. Um, you don't have to set a huge budget. You know what my campaign budget is for these ads? $5 a day. I don't honestly like the idea of hitting a market saturating it with my ad with a hundred bucks a day. I'd rather have it over time uh, indoctrinate them into the, the product. Um, so five dollars a day is a good place to start. So don't freak if your ad isn't working well you can change the image around you're not going to lose. Uh, just just count on you know set aside twenty dollars as your experiment fund. I'm going to I'm going to experiment with twenty bucks and get an ad that, that works. But here's the funny thing about retargeting it's so effective even if I have not had to change an ad on it I mean an image on it yet just because it's so targeted that the ad speaks to them so much more so pretend you're inviting them to an event so this is kinda how I like to write these ads so copy and all that um, since this isn't the first time they've seen you uh, you can do some really fun stuff you can honestly tell them um, that they've Sorry, my cat knocked over the trash can. Awesome. Who? Uh, I'll fix that later. <laughs> Sorry. So, so in the ad itself. So remember, we've retargeted them. Now we're presenting them with an ad. So I'll show you how to set this up. Don't worry. Pretend you're inviting them to an event. Like, come back and see us. We we're glad you checked out our website. But now we have this special limited time offer. Like, you can get creative here, but acknowledge that they've been to your website. The most re effective retargeting ads are the ones that answer an objection as well. 
So try to think of why they didn't buy. Like get in the head of your audience, like why wouldn't you buy this? You're crazy, it does X, Y, Z. It, I've shown you that it does this. But there's going to be objections. And objections can range anywhere from uh, right now is not a good time, which you can answer with, well, this is a limited time. Honestly, the pricing is going to go up because this is a launch. Um, maybe an objection is it doesn't do uh, X, Y, Z, where actually they missed the part on your sales page that says, hey, it does X, Y, Z. So you could remind them, did you know it has this feature? So you can be creative here and experiment with a lot of different language, but honestly, if you can, uh, if you can pretend like you're inviting to them to something special and also uh, answer an objection in your ad, you're going to see uh, really good results. So that covers if you have a website and you know uh, how to set up an audience, um, or sorry, you know how to add content to your, your website, so you've added uh, an audience to your website yourself. Now let's talk about how to target sites you don't own, like Kindle products, affiliate products, uh, really anything that um, uh, you don't own, right? So if, if you wanted to promote uh, your ebook from kindle.amazon.com, but you didn't own it, uh, or you don't own the access to that page, like you cannot add your pixel there, I'm going to show you a tool that can do that. Now, I have it installed on my site here. It's called Retarget Engine, and we'll give you some details on that in a minute. Um, but what it does is basically, like you saw the, the book here, 2000 to 10,000, How to Write Faster, uh, Write Better, and Write More of What You Love. I've gone ahead, and with this plugin, I've created a campaign that um, lets me target people who visited this Amazon link with my retargeted ad. Now that's only people who visit your link. I gotta stress that because you can't just start targeting people that have visited the page. You actually have to send traffic to this specific link um, and I highly recommend Facebook. I mean you can do some really cool stuff with that. Um, if you have an email list, you email this specific link out and basically anybody who hits this link is going to be redirected to this Amazon product and they're also going to be cookied with your Facebook retargeting pixel. Now what does that give you the ability to do? It gives you the ability to set up a campaign on Facebook to retarget people who have visited your ebook. Now let me just show you another example. Does someone, someone uh, put in the chat box, um, do, do, do. Uh, one of their Kindle books, if you don't mind. We'll give you a free plug on the call. Um, if you have a Kindle book, and if you if you are working on one, and that's fine. Um, but but if you type it in the uh, first one. So I've got Ants by Trinity Jordan. Let's see what's... I'm going to probably scare myself. Ants by Trinity Jordan. Amazon Ants. All right. I'll even read out the other ones. We've got real, The Real Cure for Migraines, Meet the Wee Folk. We've got uh, Secret Art Talking God Meditation ebook. Uh, so, so good books here. Maybe we'll put those in the, the chat. But we'll start with the Ants book. Look at this. Ants, have fun discovering the amazing world around you. So let's say that I am driving traffic to this page by itself. There is no way to know who's visited this page and run and add to it. Now if I take this and put it in this little plugin here, I click add new campaign. I'm going to call it ants campaign ebook Kindle. I need to actually start calling Kindle books Kindle books. And then the campaign URL is the, the ants, the Amazon URL, right? And then we have to go out to Facebook now. So facebook.com slash ads is where you're going to actually be going uh, as we discussed to get your uh, retargeting pixel. So we go to manage ads here. Go on out, keep on going. And we go to our ad area here. Uh, make sure you're using yours, not your clients. So I have all these different ads in here, but we want to create a new audience for ants. So here is the audience area. And as we did in the little slide, this, the few steps you got to do, 
you want to create an audience. So we're in audiences under our Facebook ads. Let's create an audience. And we're going to do custom audience for your website. Cool. Let's create that audience. We're going to call it people who went to my aunt's Kindle book. I know we're running up on 45 minutes. Appreciate you guys sticking around. And I'm super excited, actually, because we're getting to some of the really cool stuff here. So as you can see, I hit that little verify or uh, you know show the pixel. Grab this little pixel here. It's a pretty big pixel, isn't it? And we're going to head that in, or add that to the header tracking code area. So you could also add in Google Analytics here. You could add in anything as a tracking um, into this area. And then what we're going to do is we're going to publish this. So this campaign is, is created now. Then we're going to copy this URL that's on my website. So this is our new uh, campaign URL that if anybody I visit to this or send to this page is going to be cookied by Facebook and I'm going to be able to run really specific ads to them. So now I can add this URL we just grabbed not the Amazon URL, but the uh, the campaign URL, and add it here at the bottom. So basically, if they visited a URL that contains Ant's campaign Kindle for the last 180 days, I can target them with a new ad. And then in the description here, I'm actually going to put the Ant's so I can remember. Okay, that's the Amazon book, right? All right, so let's create that. That's all you got to do. That's it. We've set up a, a new audience, and I can actually create an ad that says, hey, you checked out my Ant's book. Why not buy an Ant product? So maybe you want to send them to a, an affiliate product now because you know they're interested in the book. Um, and, I mean, that gives you so many opportunities. You can be really creative here. Um, but honestly, I mean, if your goal is to sell more books, just create an ad that's sending them back to the Amazon uh, book. So I could really, I could go here now, create an ad, and I'll do this real quick um, and show you just how easy this can be. We want them to click to a website. We want them to go back to the Amazon website, paste them in there, go to that, go get that ebook. Let Facebook do its little thing. It even grabs the Kindle book, and here's the thing. We want, I'm going to actually have this on a, a page. I'm just going to pick one of these random ones I have here. Justin Beaver. <laughs> so this is what they would see. Learn about wonderful world events. They can teach us a lot. But that's not terribly effective, right? We want them to actually, hey, thanks for checking out our book. You should really buy it. Okay, you need to get more creative than that, but on the fly that'll work, right? Okay, and then call to action. This is new. Let's say uh, shop now. Boom. Pretty awesome, right? Not too tough. Now, what we do is under our um, audiences, actually, I think it already said it because, yeah, people who went to my aunt's Kindle book already did it because we did, uh, you could actually target um, other pages too that you've created here. So that's it. That is it. We could place our order, create that ad, and when people go to your special campaign link now, they are going to see this ad at least 30 times, from my experience, in their newsfeed. Now, how cool is that? Even if you haven't had success yet with Facebook ads, I'm, I'm willing to put like money down. Not really. I'm not going to bet, but if you <laughs> I would because I spend money every day on this, so that's betting, right? Um, that you're gonna you're gonna see success on a retargeted because you know they've been to the page. So that's the power of this little plugin that we have here. Um, it's really simple. You just if you, especially it seems like most people on the call have a website. You just install this and it creates these little campaigns and gives you a link and you just run ad traffic or any kind of traffic to that specific link in Facebook, so I could actually create a new ad just to that link for the first people to come to the site. So you can do that and then you have a retargeted ad that says, hey, you went to the site. So it's like a double whammy. It's actually like a 30x whammy because you are hitting, uh, 
in their face a lot. Now, that can uh, drastically increase your sales um, just simply by uh, the fact that you're getting in their face more and more. And, uh, and I, I, I can't really pitch on webinars. I'm no good at it. But if you want to pick up this plugin, which I highly recommend. Actually, it's funny. I'll tell you a little story. Um, a couple weeks ago, me and my business partner, we were talking. We're like, man, we promote a lot of people. And we're doing retargeting on our websites, and it's crushing it. I really wish we could retarget the people that we sent to that promotion. How cool would that be? And we were like, it can't be that difficult. So we called up a programmer. And we said, build us this. A couple weeks later, this came out. And this has honestly only been on the market for about a week now. And we've had a lot of good success with people picking it up, sending us some information on what they're doing. And I'm really excited to present it to you today for 27 bucks. Um, after our pre-launch, we're going to take it up to $97 just because uh, we, want, uh, we want early adopters to be rewarded for picking this up. Um, and we want, uh, we want to keep the price a little higher after the launch because we don't want everybody doing this, right? We want to keep this little kind of tool to ourselves. But if, uh, if they're willing to pay that price, then they should definitely be able to get it. Um, so because Brian is so awesome, he's, he's kind of grabbed my arm and pushed it up behind my back. He said, you got to give them some cool bonuses. Um, so if you pick it up today through Brian's link, which is retargetengine.com slash Brian, um, today I'm going to give you the $97 uh, Facebook retargeting uh, training. And that's a little more uh, in-depth on how, like specifically how to set these up step by step. We did that a little bit today, but I'm sure some of you are like, oh my gosh, like how, uh, that was fast. Like we did that in 40 minutes. We actually have a course on how to do all this. Uh, we're going to include that today with the bonus. Only $27 to pick up the plugin. I mean, that is just, you're going to make that back on your first campaign. You can honestly retarget, retarget engine, start selling that if you wanted to as an affiliate. I mean, come on, it's going to be awesome. So um, if you didn't know, you can do this with Teespring campaigns. If you're doing the new eBay drop shipping thing, which is, pretty hot right now. You can do it with that on, uh, you know, uh, what is that, Shopify. Um, I mean, really, honestly, as long as you are making some money on the end sale, you can retarget to it using this plugin. And it loads on your WordPress site. And if you don't have WordPress, um, I'll tell you what, shoot me a message because we do have, um, we do have plans on building a platform for this. And I don't want to exclude anybody who doesn't have WordPress, but for now it does work only with WordPress. Um, but we, we might be building something out in the future, but it's going to be a lot more expensive. So um, if you're not familiar with WordPress, um, I'm assuming most of you are. Everybody I was talking to on here said, yes, 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 WordPress. So, um, so let me know if you don't use WordPress. Maybe we can uh, uh, get that sorted out. But uh, for now, if you pick it up, 27 bucks, you're going to get that bonus training. And I tell you what, Brian, I, I'm not sure if you're listening in, but I am I'm going to throw in one more bonus here. Another bonus. Um, another bonus, stack the cool. I actually have a course uh, here <laughs> called Membership Manifesto, right? And I really, I, it's like my baby. Like, um, I'm a really big fan of it. I sell it for 37 bucks a month. And uh, honestly, it's like, like my, my, like, super little baby that's in my arms that I, I really love. It's a full uh, course on how to build membership websites with WordPress. And the training is 97 and then the platform is 37. I'm going to include both uh, today to the first 20 people who pick this up. Um, I'm just going to, I know who you are who are buying because, uh, um, because we're using Brian's link, but we're going to give you membership manifesto as well. And this course, I've literally had hundreds and hundreds of people go through it. And they love it. If you've ever had an interest in building a membership site, um, this has a full in-depth training on how to build membership sites, but it also comes with a platform. And I won't go into all that, but you're going to get that. Um, it's 37 a month, so I don't even know what that is a year. 37 times what? 12? I should know my numbers. So that's $444 a year. I'm going to include that, the platform, and the training. Um, it's a whole bunch of fun training, and it pulls in your Facebook profile. So no, uh, But you'll get that, too. And uh, I'm super excited, actually, because I wasn't sure if I was going to do that. But I, I mean, we have more on the call than we did at the beginning. So I want to reward those who stayed all the way to the end. 
Um, and there's a couple questions coming coming in. Can I take the course when I have time? Absolutely, it's all video, so you'll be getting a login to that course. Uh, so no rush there, Max. Don't worry. Um, so there's, yeah. Oh, cool. Thanks. Someone said uh, membership manifesto is worth it. I appreciate that. They didn't put their name in though. <laughs> Oh, we're getting some good. We get some buyers here, but but that that membership manifesto is for the first twenty. I just want to make because because honestly, you should just go out and buy it anyways. But uh, um, so I just want to take care of Brian because he's been a really good guy, and I want to make sure that you guys get that bonus. So let's move on. Um, gonna get that plug in. Well, that's targeting generous. Campaign training. Yeah, man. I mean, honestly, it's funny. Like, the more you give in this industry, the more you get, and I I find no issue with um, training more people to build awesome stuff because it's honestly just a fantastic way uh, to, to I mean continuity is just beautiful I mean it's been changed the way I do business because I know I know you've experienced that too like selling products that are per month um, it's it's a great thing so um, so yeah, that's that's my that's how that's the the best pitch I can do, Brian. Hope it was good. But uh. well, that, you know, honestly, when a, when a plugin is is priced at uh, twenty, I thought it was thirty seven dollars, which is ridiculous. Twenty seven dollars, and then, I know Brian's mad now. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, honestly, it was it was all about just you hit it, Sean. It's about education and sharing ideas and. One of the things I want to talk about a little bit is is first let's let's hammer out some some very very common questions because um, I'll, I'll I'll feed you some questions, Sean. You can take sure. care of them and and we can knock them out. So first question that was asked multiple times, uh, you know, we buy the plugin. How many websites can we use it on? Is it is it necessary right now? Right now, it's unlimited. I mean, you don't necessarily need. It. You can do as many campaigns as you want on one website. So. Um, so let's say you wanted to do your website and just do all of your campaigns on one website. That totally is fine. Like you could honestly, it's terrible, Brian. I'll be honest. We don't have a licensing system in there. Don't, don't go throwing it around the web <laughs> everywhere. Like, cause this honestly for so cheap, I, it's just silly. We don't have any upsells even. Brian's going to just hate me. I'm not going to make it. No, I, I, <laughs> Sean, it, it wasn't about, you know, I cashing know, I, in. I mean, tonight yeah. is all about giving back. And, yeah. and you hit the nail on the head, brother. It's like one of the things that I've always strived for is to really help and educate people on great strategies. This is brand new stuff. This is what I'm interested in. I want to use it. So that's why we're here tonight. It's not about how much coin we can make. It's that this is good. You know, mm -hmm. if you bring good things to good people, good things will happen. Uh, so mm -hmm. that's why we're that's why we're here today. All kinds Absolutely. of people have bought, bought. I think we've got about 16, 20 sales, a lot of sales coming in. Let's do this. Let's take a, a, a couple questions. Well, we talked about, first of all, we talked about uh, the license. It's, it's not anything like you really need to use this on multiple sites anyway, guys, because really you're just setting up links. You're grabbing a code from Facebook so they know that someone has been to your website. And then uh, you set up an ad and Facebook serves the ad. So like Sean said, you can use one website and you can run multiple ads to different websites. Am I correct, Sean? Absolutely. And okay. Super it, easy, easy, easy. Yeah. And we didn't talk about this in this, um, this presentation, but I honestly, in the, in the training, there's a little bit more on, like you can honestly, like let's say there was a, uh, an article in Huffington Post that dealt with something related to your product. You could share a, this campaign link that links to Huffington Post. Anybody who clicks on that and is interested in that subject, you have an audience. So you could literally retarget people that go to Huffington Post and and uh, hit them with your offer. So that's a that's a really cool feature. That, I mean, we're just getting into. I mean, it's literally only been out for a week, and we've been having all kinds of fun experimenting with. Um, uh, I, I I would even say you could re you could share someone else's Kindle book that's very popular, like Stephen King. And if you're in the same market, you could then retarget people that went to that book, like Stephen King. I know you're going to love this book. You know, there's all kinds of things you can do. It's really how creative can you get with building the audience? You know. 
Yeah, that's awesome. And do, do me a favor, buddy. Go over to jump onto that. I send you the link. I don't know if you'll still have it, but just hit marketingeasystreet.com and then hit the last blog post. I want to show people and I kind of want to just, I want to share my ideas out loud because I think it will help people on the call to get ideas on where they can take their business. And, you know, I, I, I've stressed it so many times. It's not necessarily about scroll down and you'll see the, the first. Oh, sorry, I got yeah, that, that's a page, buddy. <clears throat> oh, oh, I, I, what, is, what is this, a website? What yes, it's this? called a website, <laughs> dear lad. Website. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So you should see, so like. Uh, is this the right post? Um. It's a little slow. Did, did no, that's the, I'm sorry, that's a sticky post. Oh, there's so many features and functions on a website. <laughs> oh, those sticky posts, yo. Oh, there we are. Number one best selling. There we go. Brian, is this it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hit Put the that? number one best seller. Okay, so guys, here's what I want to talk about. You know, at the beginning of the webinar, I mentioned the fact that, you know, the term right now that's sexy and Kindle publishing is that you should have an author website. And the fact of the matter is anytime you slap on a book cover that you've published onto a website, you could uh, kind of call it a an author website. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, close out of there. like a new page. Yeah, good job, buddy. <laughs> <clears throat> so I what I want you to think about is you can du duplicate exactly what I've done. I mean, you know, how many times have you s sat back and just thought, you know, those marketers – that you know are selling me these products are really smart. Well, why can't you do the same thing? Why can't you choose a niche that you're really interested in that other people online are also really interested, right? And with that, let's say you're you're very passionate about gardening. Okay? It's springtime officially in like a week or two. And you could publish a number of books, Kindle books on gardening. And you could feature those books on your website. Then you could basically go to Facebook and you could build a page. You could advertise on Facebook. You could all kinds of different ways to drive the traffic, but you can send people back to your website. And instead of waiting forever, I mean, I, I would imagine the cost per click on like a gardening niche would be not too, too expensive. And, and one of the questions I had for you, Sean, is what can we expect to pay when we're talking about Facebook ads. And I want you to kind of talk a little bit about, you mentioned creating two different ads. And this is really, really important folks, because obviously with retargeting, if you only send five people to your web page, you're retargeting five people and the most sales you can ever generate is five. So how do we solve that problem? Well, we solve that problem by creating a second ad that is like seed traffic. And that's what I wrote down, seed traffic. Mm -hmm. and, and you could ultimately uh, target a page that has been liked on Facebook by millions of millions of people. And you could effectively drive a thousand people to your web page. And then after that ad runs out, you would be retargeting those people that showed interest, and that's what's so powerful. So, Sean, with that, how much do we? Sure. How much are we going to pay for for those ads, bud? So there, there's a lot of talk about ten cent clicks and all this uh, around the web. Um, I I generally like to look at ad spend, and and I think you'll agree it's it's about the ROI, but it's also it's like who really wants to. Uh, you know, max out their credit card paying for ads that don't convert, right? So that it all comes down to ROI. And honestly, I have never spent really over like $200 a month on ads just because when you're advertising, you should be advertising, advertising to a niche audience. And, and you can get pretty broad, like million people or so. <clears throat> um, but at a certain point, it really comes down to, do you want to advertise to a million people who kind of like gardening, or do you want to advertise to 50,000 people that are like obsessed with gardening? So what I tend to try to do is, I don't mind paying a little bit more if the audience is a little more specific, right? Because I found that that ROI starts to kick in the more specific you get, because you want the passionate people. Now, the, the clicks that you're gonna get may be anywhere from 30 cents 
to a dollar. I mean, I generally don't really get scared unless it gets over a dollar. And at that point, you can play with the ads a little bit more. Um, I mean, there are so many courses out there on how to um, effectively do these ads. Um, but honestly, I have found that if I can afford to spend five or ten dollars a day on seed traffic and five or ten dollars a day on retargeting traffic, I'm getting twice the sales because they're, it's not that they're just seeing the message twice, they're getting a reminder. Yeah. Brian, how many times have you been to a website and said, I'm going to buy that watch uh, or buy that, you know, pogo stick and but I'll save it for later and then you come back to Facebook and Amazon's there with a pogo stick you should buy this and then you're like yeah I forgot about that I'm gonna buy that and like that's that's what this is really powerful for is it's a reminder it's getting in their face again but it, it like that frequency of 30 times I mean that, that's insane that, that's, that's why insane. you see yeah I mean that's why you see like I'm sure you've <clears> seen <throat> stuff seem like it's following you around the web it's because Advertisers know the value that comes in when you uh, provide this type of, uh, of uh, ad to people. I mean, it's, it's just so powerful. So um, you can track your conversions. I mean, what I do, there are ways to track it with Facebook. I generally create a new type of link through whether it be a JVZoo or whatever, and I just run traffic to that so I know for sure um, that that retargeting traffic is coming from that page. Um, so, so I don't have to question necessarily um, what my ROI is. I know very specifically. You know, I spent a hundred dollars and I made six hundred in sales, right? Um, right, and, and that's one of the things I wanted to slow you down, and I just really want to punctuate this for people. So, so let's talk a little bit on Optimized Press, the promotion you ran, and guys, one of the things I want to qualify before we even get into the details of how much was spent, how much money was made. If we start talking the internet marketing niche, the costs of clicks are going to go up exponentially. This is, you know, very, very important. Um, nonetheless, how much money did you spend, Sean, on the the campaign for Optimize Press? Um, I think I ended up spending, and this was before retargeting. I wish retargeting was out then. Um, that was, I think, I spent two hundred dollars on the whole campaign. And you made how much? Um, on that one, I did thirty five hundred, and that was that was a really it could have been a lot more, I believe, with retargeting. But but uh, yeah, I mean, it was a ten times return, like a little bit. Yeah, like 12 ten times. So yeah. it gets scary to think, gosh, a dollar a click. But instead yeah. of thinking a dollar a click, you know, be willing to take a risk, try it out, and again, what we can do too is it's it's very possible to uh, reduce the cost per click depending on your niche. Now, I'll tell you what, when I got started with Kindle, I didn't want to publish a book as Brian Johnson. I wanted to start from ground zero. I didn't use my email list. I didn't use my name. I went into a niche I knew nothing about, veganism, and I love steaks. And I was paying, uh, on average, 12 cents a click for the seed traffic, in other, in other words, 12 cents to drive traffic. Now with retargeting, I'm thinking, boy, I bet you I could uh, re have reduced the uh, cost per click with the retargeting tra traffic. And is that, um, is that pretty much a true, Sean? Yeah, I mean, well, what it comes down to is you're, uh, you're not just reducing your cost per click with retargeting, your, your overall value per visitor goes up, right? So um, that's really where the, like your cost per click could be $1,000 a click, but if your average visitor value is $1,050, then you've made a $50 profit. I mean, that's an extreme, like you're never going to pay $1,000 a click. But um, if you know you can send 1,000 people to a website and your retargeting ad is going to bring back 300 of them, and you spend $1,000 to get them there, and two hundred dollars to return them, but you know those three hundred fifty percent are going to buy. That's one hundred and fifty sales. If your products, gosh, I'm, I've run out of math steam, but one hundred and fifty sales at say fifty dollars, you know that's five or six thousand um, dollars. Sure, that's that's where the power comes in. Is right, but is, I, I, I'm going to keep bugging so, you about this. That's um, good. Let's keep. keep okay, keep so I'm going to keep hammering you because at this point, what I want to know is. 
specifically how well this will work for Kindle. And if we're mm -hmm. selling a Kindle book, we're probably charging $3, $5 for the book. Is it possible? How much are we going to pay on veganism for a retargeting ad? Mm -hmm. Well, let me show you. I'll just show you my one of my retargeting ads that I'm um, – and you can actually bid, right? So what you could do is tell Facebook, I only want to pay 11 cents for a click. Yeah. You may get a little less clicks, but you know you can reduce your cost. What I tend to try to do is bid per 1,000 views because I know the click-through rates are so high. On, sure. Uh, on these ad, like listen look at this this is a 9.7 percent click-through rate and boy that's I crazy just, i know yeah i know they're going to click because it's they've already been to the site and uh this is in the last you know week or whatever um but i'm getting 88 cent clicks and 40 cent clicks i'm not worried about that because this is a 29 dollars a month program right um if if you and which is a little harder to sell to be honest it's a uh, uh harder to sell continuity but if you're selling an ebook I I venture to say if you can get them back to the site for say 20 30 cents and you know for a fact they're interested because they've been to your page I can't say for certain but you're going to have a much much higher percentage of sales than say uh, a t-shirt product or something like that because it's <clears throat> solving a specific problem um but I I mean you can get clicks down and cost by simply limiting your cost. See, I'm 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 willing to pay $25 per thousand impressions because I know I'll get a 10% click. I could set this cost per thousand to cost per click. I could yeah. say I only want to pay I only want to pay 11 cents because I, I I but you know you you can play around with this number a lot. Yeah. Well, and yeah, then, I, I get you, buddy. And I guess I, the, I guess the point I just wanted to make is that I've done Facebook advertising. I did it on veganism. I was paying uh, 10, 11, 13 cents a click, and that wasn't retargeting. So I would I would venture to say that retargeting could, could even be cheaper, especially if you did the cost per thousand. And that's getting pretty detailed and whatnot. And I think the thing we just want to stress is that this can be used to, to drive traffic. And the other thing I want to you know, kind of share with everybody is the fact that by building a website on a specific niche where there is uh, considerable consumer demand and commercial intent, in other words, there are a lot of people that are very, very interested and they're spending money. At that point, you know, you might have a few Kindle books, but you can also grow an email list and you can certainly uh, target the sale of other products. Uh, so with gardening, for instance, you could uh, promote, you know, hundred dollar products where you earn 10, 20 percent um, and that could really help your 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 earnings and your royalties. Or you could target something like uh, build muscle. That, that, that would be a really, really great example where you could you know, get low clicks, uh, repeat sales and have a vehicle with this retargeting engine. Anyway, I'm kind of going on and on, but no, you know, that's it, fine, Ryan. L let me share this real quick. I I think I I, I hear your your uh, your problem pretty loud and clear. The the low cost of eBooks kind of makes it a little more difficult to stomach the cost of ads, right? That's now, it. Now, <clears throat> yeah, imagine for a second, and this is just a strategy I'm going to suggest to anybody here who is selling Kindles, uh, Kindle books. Find a affiliate prop. Uh, an affiliate product that is related to your niche. Don't necessarily retarget the the um, the Kindle book itself. Maybe you retarget to an affiliate product. So if you're um, if you're selling a Kindle book on building muscle, maybe your retarget is say, "Hey, you saw this book about building muscle. Why not buy this supplement?" You know, you could sell a higher <coughs> price product um, through retargeting the people who visited. Your ebook, and then any sales from the ebook, you could just co cost. You could say, well, let's say I make five dollars a book. I, I'm paying for my ad campaign with my book, and then I'm making my money through the retargeting of other people's products or your own uh, higher price products. So yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's, that's awesome, cool. dude. And that's yeah, you, yeah, you so said it, it really well. And that's kind of what I was, you know, I was getting at was the fact that you inspired. You know, if, if you go into a particular niche where there are products outside of Kindle, uh, but there's also consumer demand in Kindle. That That's really powerful and a lot of potential, a lot of possibility. I thank you so much for just taking us through this uh, 
really showing us what you've done and how you've simplified it with the plugin. We've had a, a ton of buyers. Um, last time I checked, which was 15 minutes ago, it was like, uh, looks like we have 31 now, maybe more. So you guys got a heck of a, a bargain on this webinar. Most people bought, we've got 70 people here. Um, and, and again, I want to let you know, guys, that this is what I'm going to be doing as we move forward. For me, this is all about setting up a platform, driving traffic, leveraging any sources I can. So Kindle's a great opportunity. Facebook, tremendous opportunity. Video marketing, YouTube, good stuff. Uh, and I was just super excited to have Sean on tonight and share some ideas. Let's see if we have any more questions. Do you have a few yeah. more minutes, Sean? Yeah, absolutely. And just to answer a few I'm seeing in the chat here, um, First off, uh, the the bonuses. We'll send out an email. We have uh, we have all your awesome details. Um, I'll just uh, I'll be sending you out an email. If for any reason you have any issues, um, go to retargetengine.com/support. We have a full time support person, um, including myself. So we're both on there quite a bit. If you have any issues, um, and then Brandon Garland, who is there's a couple of people, who's Brandon Garland? That's who's you're getting billed. That's actually uh, my business partner. And uh, he is a, a tech tech nerd like me, um, who helps me with all this fun stuff. So, um, so just so you know, uh, and that is a one-off payment. Uh, there was a question about that. Um, it's it is a one-off. There's no uh, <coughs> monthly fee on that. Um, and there's another question here. It doesn't require ad roll. Um, it doesn't require anything else but Facebook ads. So, that's uh, that answers that question. And sorry, Brian, I'm looking through a couple more here. No, you're doing good, buddy. That's it's it's great that we can take a little time and address people and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So, and so, questions. so at ahead. this point, Sean, let's uh so we've had like thirty some sales, so I'm hoping we'll just honor the bonuses because no one wants to be a loser in that department. You know what? We'll just take care of them all. I I I uh I I think we can just let's just make them all super awesome membership people and just take care of them. So if you're okay with that, let's do that. <laughs> oh, absolutely. That we want people going away happy tonight. Absolutely. And I'm I'm pretty stoked that we got a lot of people um who are gonna try retargeting because honestly it's it is very new. Like it's uh uh it is very new. I'm I'm I've been using it only for like about a month now. So uh, so let's see. You're welcome. Whoever said thank you, Linda. You're welcome, Linda. Thank you. Thank you for saying thank you. Um, uh, so we didn't see Brian's bonus. So I'm going to send you details on that bonus. As uh, soon as we wrap up the call, I will, uh, I'll send a message out to everybody who bought tonight. And um, uh, so we'll definitely take care of you there. And uh, let's see. Oh, we just got a freaking awesome. It's, Max says we're freaking awesome, Brian. I like that. Well, we try, man. <laughs> there's no goofing around. We take this, uh, uh, we take this, actually, we, it, there's a lot of goofing around, and that makes it awesome. <laughs> so I, I've seen a couple of people say they can't get to uh, retargetengine.com slash Brian. Brian, can you, um, can you do me a favor and put in your direct link into the chat just for anybody who's having a problem getting to yeah. that URL? Okay. You betcha. Hang on, let me grab that. We don't want anybody not to get this these bonuses. Yeah, know. absolutely. Let's do that. And you know what I'm going to do is is I'm just going to, uh, once I grab that, I want to share some ideas about seed traffic. And we'll do that in a second. First, let me grab the, the awesome, cool link. Steve, Steve said I got off easy because you made Tim provide an hour of consultation. So, uh, so you know, we'll... <laughs> I won't throw an hour in for 27 bucks, but uh, down the road, maybe we'll do something else, right? <laughs> that would be a little tricky. Uh, okay, yeah. ha hang on, folks. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the, the raw affiliate link that will hook you up with the, the many bonuses. bonuses. <clears throat> Joanne says, thanks for the great webinar. What's exciting about this, Brian, like... Um, even if people don't pick up the plugin, I'm, I'm happy that people are familiar now with retargeting because like I've honestly, in the last two months, my business has doubled and I, I don't want to make income claims or anything because that's obviously lame. Um, but I, I'm not even kidding when I say the sales of all the products that I have have doubled for anything that I've applied retargeting to just because of that simple fact that 
more eyes on your offer more often means more sales. Like there's no way to get around it. Like I buy shampoo because I, I see the old spice guy 20 times and I'm like, fine, I'll buy. Like, <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, I'm glad we got people, people using it. So I'm excited. So if you're going to retarget me, I'm going to see you all over the web. So Sean, just for the fun of it, pull up a web browser, jump on Facebook and let's just spend time on the outside, kind of like in the news feed. And if you can go to any, go to a group for me and I just want to share some of the stuff that I'm going to be doing to kind of stimulate okay, some so ideas. Okay, check this out real, real quick. I'm just going to go down through here because this is a retargeted ad. I went to Evan's page earlier today. I'm, I'm now being retargeted to Evan's site. Okay, cool. Stay right uh, there. You, you guys see what's happening here? Like this is like pure money. I got to tell you, man. That was awesome. There's Joel with his every post every 16 minutes. <laughs> I'm trying to find because I honestly get retargeted with my own stuff a lot. Um, it's funny. I'm like, really? I'm, I'm, uh, I've already bought, Sean. Um, I'm trying to – I mean, let's see. If I go to retarget engine – and I go back to Facebook, there is a decent chance I've had this happen to me quite a bit. Actually, it's funny. I'll show you um, this video I shot on Facebook. Ah, I'm out of play video. I thought I turned that off. Um, real quick, Brian, I'll show you. This is this freaked me out, actually, when I saw this. Don't be um, afraid, I'll young man. <laughs> but look at this. This followed me because I did this retarget with uh, which which one links. because it, the screen is a little slow catching up. So, oh, uh, there it is. So, We're retargeting you. I see it. Yeah. So that was me, my ad for their affiliate product with our affiliate link that I mailed out, and then everywhere I went, it was in the sidebar. Like it followed me around the web, and wow. I was like, look at that. Every single time I went to a different page, and so, I couldn't believe it. Like. It's on pretty other cool. And I, profile. When I saw, I mean, basically, you know, I, I've known of retargeting for quite a while. I did quite well with Facebook advertising, and it really helped me a lot with getting reviews for my book. I basically built up a fan page of 10,000 people cheap, and then mm -hmm. I got a lot of people downloading my books, and that, that turned into uh, positive reviews, and that helped propel sales in the future. So I'm just trying to think of how I can continue with that. If you're on Facebook, are you a member of any groups that are not really in internet marketing but are somewhat commercial? Like, I don't know, maybe. Uh, like a fitness group? I think yeah. I have a, like a group I'm in here with. Uh, yeah, pull up. Oh, pull look up. at this. Look, I'm getting retargeted from T-Profit. <laughs> See, thanks for visiting. That's awesome. Yep. I yeah. love doing real time. Uh, so there it is. Um, and that's what it looks yeah. like, guys. So imagine you go to a website yeah. and it keeps popping up. And, 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 and the great thing is then you can target people that are really active on Facebook so they keep seeing your ads. So go to that fitness group for me, buddy. All right. So let's pretend for a minute that you thought, yeah, I like that idea Brian had. And I'm going to go into one particular niche where there's a lot of money. Yeah, please scroll past that. That dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go down to a hot. Uh, no. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. I got to get my brain working again. That was really tough yeah. right there. <laughs> you got you. You got you good. That's um, no, all right. So, you know, health and fitness, you could have so many different Kindle books. You could sell so many different products, whether it's a product on ClickBank, a physical product from Amazon. And you could go and you can actually go through this type of a group. So what you're looking at now is people that are uh, a member of this particular group. How, do you know how many people are in that group? Shreddies? Um, I think, yeah, Shreddies. 268. Shredders. Shred Shreddies, I guess. I Shreddies. Uh, how many was it? 200 or so? Yeah, 268. I mean, I know there's a lot of groups with a lot more people, but I mean, even gardening or something, I'm sure there's just. Yeah, exactly. Groups. So what you can do is it's very easy to get cheap software tools that will scrape the IDs from all the people in these groups that are really, really active. And then you can create an ad and you can serve it to those people that are very, very active in this group about uh, health and fitness. Now, do you think those people would be interested in a book about getting ripped and maybe you even called it, you know, getting ripped and ha becoming a shreddy? 
or something like that. Mm -hmm. It would be so ridiculously targeted. And those people that you scrape would see that ad again and again. And every, anybody that visited a page would then be retargeted. And some of these groups, like Sean yeah. said, thousands and thousands of people. Pretty, pretty awesome, pretty exciting. Yeah, and, and like, I mean, I don't want to condone any uh, crazy uh, uh, ideas, but it, like this is a, a group with 14,000 members, National Speakers Association. What if, what if you approach the owner of that group and said, I've got a book on, e on, uh, uh, on speaking. I want it to be called National Speakers Association Guide, and I want to target your group. I mean, you could get so specific that, People just would be insane. I'm going to join this group now and write that book. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, that's, I mean, you're right, man. I mean, you can get just so niche that, I mean, it's not necessarily the size of the audience, is it? I mean, it's really how passionate are they and how how much can you get in front of them for how much, you know, money. And uh, like once you have that solved, I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, so pretty awesome. A couple people are saying, well, what, what's the software? You know, guys, what I'm going to do is we are going to have a replay of this webinar. I am going to post it to my blog. In fact, I'm going to uh, do a detailed blog post on the different types of uh, retargeting and really focus on Facebook. And I'll have some, some different software options available to you. Uh, so that'll be coming. I just, bought, I just bought the ant. I want to. I want to read the ant book. Sorry to interrupt. I just bought the ant book. So I'm, I'm stoked. It's hard Sorry. to resist the, the ant book, man. No, I, mean, I was like one click. I'm in, man. I uh, have buyer's remorse now, Brian. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. So we're gonna do a replay. We'll put that scrape that that uh, that tool that you're talking about on there because I want to know more about that too, actually. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, I'm gonna. I, I have a few. I'm gonna test them out, and I'll give you the the best recommendation. What I what I like. Um, thank you so much for coming out, guys. We still have quite a few people here. Um, Sean, is there anything else that you wanna share with the the, the folks on the the huh? webinars tonight? No, I would say. I mean, come uh, come hang out on Facebook with me. I, I'm on here way too much. Um, so you know, any any questions you have, message me personally. Um, the product I'm very close with and obviously a uh, big fan of the, the retarget engine. So, um, you know, Brian, I really appreciate you uh, trusting, uh, trusting me with your audience's uh, ears and eyes, and I really appreciate that. So um, uh, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm overjoyed to just be able to, to get on here and hang out and uh, have some fun talking about, like, stuff I'm really passionate about. So really appreciate that. Hey, man, no problem. I, I like to find people that are doing it, um, really, you know, walking the walk, talking the talk. You're one of those people, so it's, it's an easy thing for me to have you on. I'm sure we'll do more great things in the future. Thanks, everybody who came out and listened to me blather on and on about uh, Geekazoid kind of topics and traffic. And, and, Sean, you did a really great job. Thank you for your presentation. And, guys, you know, get busy. Um, the more you do, the easier it becomes. The more you, you really uh, take action. One of the things I want to think about, and I thought about this the other day, and that is your success is a derivative based on what you're doing right now. I want you to think about that. Your success is based on the stuff you're doing. And, you know, it's great to get education, but uh, get out there and make a mess and be willing to take a risk. Uh, publish some stuff, put out a book, launch a website, play with Facebook advertising because, you know, it's really changed my life around. I'm so grateful. I know, Sean, you're the same way, man. What's what's this craziness about uh, pheasants? <laughs> yeah, dude, I grew up. I, uh, I had a pheasant farm with my brother and uh, nasty, nasty work. But from like the age of like 13 to, to like 18, I – Raised and sold pheasants, man. I, there's a surprising amount of money in it, evidently. But I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you're like, I don't care how much they're going to pay me. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was smelly, smelly work, man. But it was a good, you know, introduction to business, like stuff I didn't want to do. But <laughs> I learned a lot of it. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thank you so much again, Sean. Thanks for everybody coming out. We'll have more awesome webinars in the future. I'm just getting real, uh, warmed up here. I'm going to hit my prime at about 98. So uh, more good stuff in the future, guys. Take care. Thank you very much for stopping by, guys. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, everybody. We'll talk soon.